Satriya Assamese, Satraya or Satriya Enritya, is a major Indian classical dance. It is a dance drama performance art with origins in the Krishna-centered Vaishnavism monasteries of Assam, and attributed to the 15th century Bhakti movement scholar and saint named Srimanta Sankardev. One act plays of Satriya are called Ankhya Nat, which combine the aesthetic and the religious through a ballad, dance, and drama. The plays are usually performed in the dance community halls of monastery temples The themes played relate to Krishna and Radha, sometimes other Vishnu avatars such as Rama and Sita, recognized in 2000 as a classical dance by Sangeet Natak Akademi of India. Modern Satriya explores many themes and plays, and its performances staged worldwide. History Satriya is a classical dance of India, a classification that traces its roots to ancient drama and music texts of India, particularly the Natya Shastra. The Natya Shastra is a foundational treatise on the performing arts attributed to the ancient scholar Bharata Muni. Its first complete compilation is dated to between 200 BCE and 200 CE, but estimates vary between 500 BCE and 500 CE. The most studied version of the Natya Shastra text consists of about 6,000 verses structured into 36 chapters. The text, states Natalia Lidova, describes the theory of Tandava dance Shiva, the theory of rasa, of bhava, expression, gestures, acting techniques, basic steps, standing postures, all of which are part of Indian classical dances. Dance and performance arts, states this ancient text, are a form of expression of spiritual ideas, virtues, and the essence of scriptures. The history of dance arts in Assam go back into antiquity, as evidenced by copper plate inscriptions and sculpture relating to Shaivism and Shaktism traditions. Singing and musical traditions, similarly, have been traced to Assamese chorus singing tradition for the Hindu epics the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. The modern form of Satriya is attributed to the 15th century Sankaradeva, who systematized the dance using the ancient texts, and introduced drama and expressive dancing as a form of a community religious art for emotional devotion to Krishna. Since the 15th century, the Satriya art grew as part of the Vaishnava Bhakti movement, in Hindu monasteries called Satra. The art was developed and practiced by monks in the form dance dramas about legends and mythologies of Krishna, particularly from texts such as the Bhagavata Purana. One distinctive part of the Satriya dance inside temples and monasteries is that the dance is not celebrated before any idol, but is performed before a copy of the Bhagavata Purana placed in eastern sunrise corner called Manikat of the Dance Hall These dance dramas were, in the early days, written and directed by the Assamese poet Saint Sankaradeva, and by his principal disciple Madhavadeva. They were mostly composed during the 16th century. Once the domain of male monks, it is now performed by male as well as female dancers. In the second half of the 20th century, Satriya Enritya moved from the sanctum of Assam's Satras, monasteries to the metropolitan stage. The Sangeet Natak Akademi recognized Satriya Enritya as an official classical dance of India in 2000. Satriyas are now performed on world stages. Repertoire <inaudible> 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 Like the other schools of Indian classical dance, Satriya encompasses the principles required of a classical dance form. The treatises of dance and dramaturgy, like Natya Shastra, Abhinaya Darpana, and Shakaradeva's Sangat Ratnakara, the Sangat Ratnakara of Shankaradeva complements his Bhakti Ratnakara, which traces the Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, Yoga, and Vedanta themes, the ethical values such as non violence, ahimsa, truthfulness, satya, and others, thus premising a theological foundation to Satriya. To Shankaradeva, religious values, ethics, joys of life and performance arts were intimately linked, and he asked the leaders of Hindu monasteries to compose at least one play, during their tenure, before they die. Satriya repertoire marg includes N. Rita pure dance, solo, N. Ritya expressive dance, solo, and Natya dramatic play, group. Like all major classical Indian dance forms, those three categories of performances are the N. Rita performance is abstract, fast and rhythmic aspect of the dance. The viewer is presented with pure movement in N. Rita, wherein the emphasis is the beauty in motion, form, speed, range and pattern. This part of the repertoire has no interpretive aspect, no telling of story. 
The enritya is slower and expressive aspect of the dance that attempts to communicate feelings, storyline particularly with spiritual themes. In a enritya, the performance expands to include storytelling, the silent expression of words through gestures and body motion set to musical notes. This part of a repertoire is more than sensory enjoyment, it aims to engage the emotions and mind of the viewer. The natya is a play, typically a team performance, but can be acted out by a solo performer where the dancer uses certain standardized body movements to indicate a new character in the underlying story. A natya incorporates the elements of a enritya. Kuchipudi, in its history relied on a team of dance actors, while in modern times Kuchipudi productions include solo or duo performances, the hand gestures mudras, footwork padas, postures, rhythms, training of artists and other aspects of the Satriya dance drama closely follow those described in Natya Shastra and other classical Hindu dance texts, and are quite similar to other major classical dances such as Odissi, Kathakali, Bharatanatyam and others found in South and North India. Some basic elements and features of Satriya match those found in the Manipuri dance found in neighboring Manipur state. Satriya Enritya is a genre of dance drama that tells mythical and religious stories through hand and face expressions. The basic dance unit and exercise of a Satriya is called a Matyakara, equal 64, just like in Natya Shastra, are the foundational sets dancers learn during their training. The Akaras are subdivided into Aura, Sada, Jalak, Siddhika, Pak, Jap, Lan, and Kar. A performance integrates two styles, one masculine bangi, energetic and with jumps, and feminine STRI bangi, lasya or delicate. Traditionally, satriya was performed only by bokos male monks in monasteries as a part of their daily rituals or to mark special festivals. Today, in addition to this practice, satriya is also performed on stage by men and women who are not members of the satras, on themes not merely mythological. The plays choreographed in a satriya are those found in Hindu texts such as the Bhagavata Purana, the epics, and the compositions by Assamese scholars. The stories related to the love between Radha and Krishna are particularly common. Costumes. <laughs> <laughs> The costume of Satriya dance is primarily of two types, the male costume comprising the dhoti and shadar and the paguri turban and the female costume comprising the gori, shadar and kanchi waist cloth. Traditionally the costumes were of white or raw silk color with use of red, blue and yellow for specific dance numbers. In earlier times velvet and satin materials were mostly used for the costumes. With change of time, as this dance form evolved from the satras onto stage, the design and materials of the dance costumes changed. Pat also spelled pot, a silk produced in Assam which is derived from the mulberry plant and muga golden silk of Assam is also used in preparing the dance costume. Other brilliant colors are also used in the female costumes. These handwoven materials normally have intricate local motifs like kingcap, miri motif, kolka etc. Uses of play-specific costumes are also seen in Satriya dance. The dress of Krishna Enritya and Natabangi Enritya is of yellow and blue keeping in line with the attire of Lord Krishna. The Sutradhar Enritya also has its specific white costume with a special turban. Traditional Assamese jewellery is used in Satriya dance. The jewelries are made in a unique technique in Kesa Sun raw gold. Artists wear kapali on the forehead, muti karu and gam karu bracelets, different type of neck pieces like mata moni for male dancers, golpada, dulbiri shaped like the musical instrument dhol, bena pendant shaped like a crescent, jethapada lizard shaped, dugdugi leaf shaped, senpada eagle shaped, dansira strand of rice grain, lokaparo pigeon design. Earrings are made in similar designs and also tuka suna and keru are worn by dancers. Female dancers wear white flowers in the hair. The costumes of Ankhya knots dramas are colorful and character specific. Use of muka masks to depicts demons and special characters are also unique of this dance form. The art of mask making is an integral part of Satriya culture and originated in the Satras of Assam. Beautifully decorated turbans and crowns made by the local artisans are used in the Ankhya knots. The facial makeup of Satriya dance resembles other classical dance forms of India. However, in earlier times traditional materials and herbs were used for makeup. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music and Instruments. 
Satriya Enritya is accompanied by musical compositions called Borgites composed by Sankardeva and Sri Sri Madhavdev, among others, which are based on classical ragas. A key musical instrument that accompanies a Satriya performance are coals, two-faced, asymmetrical drum quite different from the rest of India, played with fingers. The special shape and materials of construction, clay, wood, leather, rice dough, iron filings, rope straps, of Satriya Khol produces a high pitch with the right side Dana, while producing a deep bass sound on the left Biwa. .Accompanying the Khol are various types of talas or cymbals Manjira, Bordal, Bihutal, Patital, Kudital, and the flute Bansuri. Other instruments like the violin and the harmonium have been recent additions. Styles A Satriya performance comes in many styles such as the Sutradhara or Sutra Bangi, character-specific Bangi, Prabish, Enritya and Jumara. The Sutradhara is a style that tells a story and presents the spiritual values of Vaisnavism in a complete classical format, Enrita, Enritya and Natya. One feature of the Sutradhara or Sutradari style is the included commentary for the audience in local language. Ankhya Nat is a subgenre consisting of one act plays of Satriya. These are dedicated compositions but feature a ballad, dance, and drama. The character specific different styles of Satriya have their own costume variations, and focus on the various life stages and activities of Radha, Krishna, and the gopis. Schools and training Over the years, Satriya Enritya has received greater acceptance and patronage both outside the state of Assam, and outside India. <laughs> Notes <laughs>